Lacha Leitania is severely acutely malnourished. Since April, he's been visiting a mobile health unit for checks on his height, weight and arm circumference. Despite getting food pouches, the two-year-old isn't gaining weight and the nutritionist thinks he knows why. They go home and uh, they share with the other children because the, 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 the father also has six other children at home. So the issue of sharing again is bringing uh, this uh, child not able to improve in weight even after being in the program for four months. This is one of the worst affected districts in Marsabit. Lysamas sub-county has never experienced such hunger. One in three people is severely malnourished. And although help is coming, it's not nearly enough. Prolonged malnutrition can have lifelong consequences. Their brain development is, is, is impaired. Their physical development is, is impaired. Such that they cannot attain us, uh, their, their full height. So looking at stunted, stunted children, weak, weak children, they cannot concentrate in the classroom. They cannot deliver. They cannot do the manual work uh, they're supposed to do. They cannot hurt the goats. In their hut, Lacha's dad explains that he lost most goats to the drought and the last few he used to feed his children, three more of whom have severe acute malnutrition. The thought of another failed rainy season weighs heavily on his mind. Mm -hmm. I just pray to God, I don't know what, what I'm going to do. Just uh, feeling worried. At a popular borehole, it's a fear shared by pastoralists who are having to travel further between pasture and water. A 40 kilometre round trip is too much for most cattle. The camels fare better, but they're succumbing to illness. This man lost six camels and virtually his whole herd of 200 goats. The fear among many is that after the livestock die, the people are next. When the animals are affected, next is the, the human beings. So we are at risk. Live about this animal because we can see they are almost finishing. The next target is now the human beings are being targeted right now. The situation, the way it is now. Juliet Gash, RTE News, Marsabit, Kenya.